Hello, and welcome to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. My name is Carol Burns, Manager of Human Resources at this facility. Back in the day, this facility was the headquarters for CIRAC before becoming part of the Materion family in 2006. It now holds approximately 100 employees that are part of Materion's advanced materials business. Today, we're going to look at how we help improve the world with our contribution to pacemaker technology. We didn't have to go far to get an idea of how pacemakers can help save lives. My name is Mark Duell. I've worked here 12 years. Right now, I'm in the sizing department. When I think of my wife, I think of happiness. The culture that my wife comes from, they are just very happy, always smiling, very caring people. I had come home from work. I'm up on the second floor of my house. All of a sudden, I can hear this. All of a sudden, I, you know, I thought, oh my God, that must be her. And I ran downstairs. She's down in the tub. And uh, I quickly called 911. Uh, her heartbeat was down to 40 beats a minute. Um, so they took her to uh, St. Francis Hospital and they put the pacemaker in, in her and by 12 o'clock the next afternoon, we were released. It's estimated that three million people alive today have pacemakers in them, helping to keep them alive like Mark's wife, Elsie. The first recorded external stimulation of the heart actually occurred way back in 1775, but it wasn't until 1958 that pacemakers were totally implantable in the human body. We've come a long way since that time, and the technology continues to evolve. To understand how we help pacemaker patients live normal lives, we talk with employees here in Milwaukee. We provide the vanadium pentoxide, V205. It is a chemical that we buy and resell but our value add is we do numerous analyses to that powder before we sell it to our customer. They use our vanadium oxide to react it with a silver compound to make a silver vanadate, which is then used as the base platform for their battery in their pacemakers. Our customer spec on this vanadium pentoxide started out back in the 1990s as a finely divided orange powder. Uh, over the years, it's grown to include 12 different elements for the purity requirements and parts per millions. Particle size has tightened up from simply less than 30 microns to 20 to 30 microns. It's one of our high maintenance products. <laughs> it takes a lot of analysis and a lot of hands-on work. We do the initial sampling uh, using a sample thief. We do various thievings for each of the raw material drums. Um, we keep the top, middle, and bottom portions of the thieving separate. We test each section, performing a screen analysis. The remaining material that we pulled out of the drum gets bag mixed and then we pull our particle size distribution sample from it. The battery in a pacemaker nowadays can last up to 15 years depending on how often it's used. Um, getting a battery replaced in your pacemaker requires surgery. They have to go in there and pull it out and replace the battery and put it back in. So making sure that that battery works every time is important and make sure it lasts as long as it can is important. Knowing that you're working on a particular product that is going into pacemakers and saving lives and helping people out, it's, it makes you feel good. I'm happy to be working at Materion because the product that we make goes into the pacemaker that keeps my wife alive. Well, that's our story from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm Carol Burns, and in Materion's advanced materials business, we're proud to make advanced materials that improve the world. Thanks for watching.